Hi, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy. And I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you and you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. This is a general reading for the month of March 2022 or a little bit of time afterwards. Time is fluid. So, uh, you know, I always like to leave a little bit of room for adjustment. This is a general reading. So keep that in mind. Take what makes sense for you. Take what connects for you. Leave the rest. Okay. Um, don't try to force anything if it doesn't connect for you. If it does connect for you, I always appreciate the likes, the comments below. That just helps to support the channel and all the things that I'm doing here. So let's dive in. We're going to take a look at your March of 2022. What do you need to know? What messages the angels have for you and how can you best navigate this month? We're going to start here in this bottom row of cards and we're taking a look at what are the overarching themes throughout the month of March. So the first cards that we have here are the six of pentacles clarified by the devil card. So I see very much that you guys are in a place of taking a look at finding balance in your life. There's definitely a theme here of finding balance and of wanting for things to come back into balance. And so I do see you taking a look at maybe where you're putting your time and your resources, where you're not receiving that back or it's not really worth it for you. I see you taking a look at that. You know, sometimes this showing up with the devil card can be things where uh, we have habits or even addictions that are stepping into a territory of taking too much from us, of not being worth it, of us spending way too much of our time, our energy, that kind of stuff into something that we recognize isn't really serving us. I also see us taking a look at across the board in our life, where am I putting my time and energy and am I, am I having that be reciprocated back? Is it worth it for me to continue to invest in this particular thing, this particular person, really taking a look at that and how has that become out of balance? How has that stepped into a territory of it's really maybe starting to deplete me or not serving me anymore or it has actually stepped into that territory of becoming an addiction or an unhealthy habit that I need to change, that I need to shift. I really see that you're starting to understand your value and you're starting to call in more abundance into your life, uh, whether that's money, whether that's you know, time, whether that's particular things that you're trying to manifest, but this is going to come with this need to understand what do I need to bring into balance? Where am I giving too much of myself or, or what isn't working for me in regard to money? Maybe I'm spending too much money and I'm spending it on things that really aren't that helpful to me. So where can I rein it in so that I'm bringing myself back into balance so that I am feeling a little bit more of that abundant energy in my life once I um, like get out of this pattern or this habit that that is putting me into a place of feeling like I'm I have lack all the time or I'm panicked about bills, that kind of stuff. So the next card that we have here is the spiritual path card, okay? And this is saying your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. So I do think like this is kind of an, an assessment of your life, of your time, of your resources, and taking a look at where do I need to bring some things back into balance? Uh, what do I need to understand here moving forward? How do I want to do things differently? I definitely feel you're like right on this brink of a level up. And um, the level up comes from having some insights, having some awareness of what needs to change, what doesn't belong here that you do not want to take into your future with you. So I see you taking a look at that. And uh, pretty quickly, we have some amazing things coming in with this Eight of Wands, right? This is opportunity. This is, um, can be attention, right? If you're somebody who, for example, is looking to date, or maybe you are in kind of a public platform in some way, or you're just wanting to feel celebrated or seen in some way, this is definitely an energy of that and, and of lots of opportunities or offers coming in at once, or lots of attention coming in at once. And in some ways, this can be 
a little bit of an overwhelming energy. So I feel like that's why we have this temperance card showing up because this is saying these are all good things that are coming into your experience. Maybe that's even money. You know, you've got different opportunities to make different um, money in different areas, but it's really important for you to also like temper this a little bit, pump the brakes, take a look at, again, where do I want to be investing my time and my energy? Because all of these are not possible, right? It, it, it's going to be too much, too much, and I really have to take a look at like how do I want to allocate my my resources? How do I want to allocate my time, my energy, my money, that kind of stuff? What are going to be the best possible options for me? And I think that if you can do that, you're really going to be taking advantage of some of these opportunities, and they are going to pay off. So allow them to come in, but also temper that, take that time to really take a look at like, how do I bring this into balance so that it's not overwhelming to me? This is further supported by the nine of wands in reverse, clarified by the nine of wands upright. Again, it's like taking a look at what in your life is worth fighting for and what isn't anymore. What am I ready to just release? You know, we have this eight of wands that led right into the nine of wands. Um, so it's kind of like where the scales get tipped and it starts to become too much. It starts to become overwhelming. Um, or, you know, a habit starts to tip into a territory of, um, no longer serving us or becoming harmful to us. Okay. So it's, it's about taking a look at that and, um, what, what's worth fighting for, what's worth investing in. Definitely. That's a huge theme for you throughout this month. And by the way, I do feel like I need to say, you know, there are some things that are absolutely worth fighting for are absolutely worth persevering for, holding out for, waiting for, okay? So if you know that to the depths of your soul, this is what I'm meant to be doing. This is what I want to be investing myself in. This is what is truly important to me and it aligns with my purpose and it aligns with my vision of what I want for my life. Then there's very much a message of continuing to focus on that, but you may need to bring something else into balance to allow for that, whether it's to allow the time, the energy, Energy, um, the resources, that kind of stuff. I, I, what comes to mind for me, and this is just an example, right? But where, where somebody maybe is aware of, oh, geez, I'd really like to do this, but I have to go back to school for that. And, um, you know, so I'm going to have to come up with the money to pay for that. So I may need to adjust my budget so that I'm able to, to pay for that. And I'm, you know, that's going to impact my time. So I may need to make some adjustments to my time in order to allow me to do this. But at the end of the day, it's going to be worth it. It's going to pay off. It's going to be something that I really honor and value. So that's just an example of this kind of energy that I'm feeling here. So we're going to uh, move up to the next layer of this reading, the next level in this spread that I have laid out here. And so we're taking a look at the challenges or the barriers that you might be expecting throughout this month. Now, some of you definitely with this Queen of Cups um, and the Seven of Swords have, have been hurt, uh, whether that's in the past. I feel like in this case, for a lot of you, this is pain from the past, you know, something that someone has done that maybe they didn't have the best of intentions or, you know, really ha has caused you to close your heart um, or to protect yourself a little bit more. Um, and, and this doesn't have to be in a romantic relationship. This can be friendships. This can be even at work. Maybe um, you got your hopes up about something and then somebody didn't follow through or somebody offered something and they didn't follow through with it. So there's a, like a disappointment coming from the past. And this is really saying it's time to work through that disappointment. It's time to start to hope again. It's time to start to open your heart again. And, and to understand that not everyone has bad intentions. And just because something didn't work out, there's very much an energy here of divine timing. We do have the temperance card showing up again next to this, right? And so it's a temperance card twice. Temperance is about divine timing as well, you know? And so there has needed to be a lot of patience and there still is patience that's required, but it's also important to start to reconnect again with hope, with faith, with trust. And so if you found yourself really pulling away from that, 
it, it's time to reconnect with that. And I'm also hearing like it's time to open to receive. So maybe you're one of those people that's always giving and giving and giving or investing in, in things. And it's about that reciprocity, being open to receiving as well. And this may be what's helping you to release certain financial blocks or abundance blocks in your life as well. And so I might even work in an affirmation of, I am open to receiving all of the amazing things that are available to me. Okay, so so just opening to this idea of receiving. Um, and also maybe opening to the possibility. For some of you, there is that possibility of like opening to the possibility of love again. Uh, maybe you've been working on yourself for quite some time. You've been single for quite some time. And you're starting to maybe feel that itch, starting to wonder like, is it worth it for me to get back out there, to reconnect? And I definitely feel like the energy here is is absolutely saying that. And we pulled here the ready to love again card as well. Okay, so for some of you who are available for love, this says you've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. But you have to intentionally open your heart. You have to say, I choose to open my heart. I'm ready to connect on a deep level and to not be approaching this from a place of being very self-protective and shut down. People feel that. That doesn't allow for you to connect with the kinds of relationships that are high vibrational that you're really wanting to connect with if you're closing your heart, if you're being too self-protective. So there is a certain level of vulnerability required here. And if this isn't about love for you, this is about being vulnerable in terms of being willing to hope again on maybe some circumstances that have felt very shut down or that have been very disappointing, okay? Letting yourself, again, open to that and understand that things happen in divine timing. And this happened in divine timing. And so it is going to happen for you if it's important enough. And if it's aligned for you, it is going to happen for you in divine timing. And I do see that as we look out into the future cards, that divine timing, that timing is coming. So your job right now is to focus on opening your heart and being ready to receive. We also have here this Knight of Cups clarified by the Four of Wands. This is about commitment. This is about taking something to the next level. This can be a contract that's coming in. This can be, you know, taking your relationship with somebody to the next level. This can be engagement. This can be um, a discussion about moving in together. This can be just opening to a new relationship that is something that ultimately is going to develop into something very serious for you, something very committed for you. So definitely we're taking some kind of a commitment to the next level. And the reason that I feel like this is showing up in the challenges section is I think you feel scared about it. I think it might be feels overwhelming. This may even be something that finally happens that you've been waiting on for so long. And you're kind of like, but I don't know, is it too good to be true? I don't know, can I trust this? Because like I've been waiting on this for so long and it hasn't happened and it hasn't happened. And then all of a sudden it did happen and uh, like I kind of don't know what to do with it. So it's a little bit that energy as well. And this is about, again, being open-hearted, celebrating this energy, celebrating the gifts that are coming in for you. Good things are happening for you. Good things can happen for you. So let yourself be open to that idea. I love the affirmation. Everything is always working out for me. I, and um, I, really being open to this confirmation or, or this idea of, of this affirmation of everything always working out for you and, and truly letting yourself open to the idea of the pure and absolute truth of this. This is about understanding that you are always provided for, always taken care of, and um, letting yourself truly connect with the gratitude of that. Letting yourself truly understand that the universe, God, the divine, whatever you call that, always wants to take care of you, always wants to provide for you. And if you let yourself open to the hope, to the faith, to the trust of that, I really see that coming in for you. 
it may feel vulnerable in some ways, but letting yourself open to the gifts that are wanting to come in. Now we're going to talk about the cards that are in the top row. The cards that are in the top row are connected to where we're going in the relatively near future. So definitely some positive energies. I definitely see a shift for you. Okay. We have this three of pentacles. This is about cooperation. This is about coming together and working on something. Um, maybe something that's going to make you some money. Maybe something like um, you've been waiting on something to come together and it finally is, and everybody's kind of coming to the table to work together. This is about collaborating with other people. This is about working with other people, and it's leading to, it's clarified here by this Ten of Cups, right? Uh, leading to happiness, joy, happy family, having the things that you want, um, <clears throat> feeling like you're on the right path, okay? So definitely, if you're having opportunities, if you're feeling called to work with some people on some things, whether that's just like working through some things within the people in your life, or um, maybe you're coming together to work on something that you're creating together with people, but it's definitely leading to some really positive stuff. So um, if opportunities are coming through to collaborate, to team up with people, I definitely would, of course, trust your intuition on that, but if that feels best and right, it looks like it's leading to some really, really great stuff. Again, I get that message of you have to be open to it though and, and be open to the possibility that this can be really, really great, okay? I see some life-changing stuff coming in for you here with this card and it says life-changing epiphany or experience. And the card says, it's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. And I really feel like this is the whole vibe. And again, it's a little bit of that energy of, is it too good to be true? I'm a little afraid to trust this. And I get the sense that it's not, right? I think that you've been manifesting incredible things for yourself for a long time. And you're finally here. You're finally starting to see the fruits of your labor, the... um you're allowing these shifts that are wanting to happen through you and it's bringing in some really amazing gifts. So speaking of amazing gifts, we have also the 10 of pentacles. So we have the 10 of cups, we have the 10 of pentacles clarified by the king of cups. So it's really saying security, safety, happiness, um, connection, love, whatever it is you're manifesting is yours but you have to keep your heart open. You have to allow yourself to truly um, maybe be vulnerable enough to take a leap of faith or to put your trust into someone or something that you don't have that solid concrete evidence that everything is going to be okay, but it feels intuitively good. It feels intuitively okay. And this is about getting yourself back out there putting yourself back out there, trusting, being hopeful, understanding that all will work out for you. So I love this so much for you. And uh, last set of cards, we have the Six of Swords clarified by the Empress card. This is about being carried out of challenging waters, being carried out of a really difficult time in your life where you haven't known how things were going to work out. And maybe it was, you know, it was very rough waters. It was very challenging. It was you know, maybe years of difficulty and you're finally being carried out of that. You're being moved into a different time in your life, a different period. You're being moved into a time of abundance and, and you understand that you are attracting all of the amazing things for you. So this is really the Empress for me right here is about understanding that you are magnetizing the things to you that you want. And it just is going to be a matter of trusting and being in that divine feminine energy where we understand that we are a magnet for all of the things that we want. And if we want to be a magnet for that, we number one have to have faith and trust and belief. We have to put the vision out there and then we have to trust that it will be delivered to us in divine timing. We have to have that knowing that it will be delivered to us in divine timing. But I think that the divine timing is uh, really starting to show up here with the Six of Swords. So I think that you're going to start to see some really magical things starting to arrive into your experience. If not in March, as we move a little bit further on into the year, definitely a powerful shift as you choose to open your heart, as you choose to be mindful of 
what you really want to put your time and energy into, what your priorities are. I, I think that you're going to get clear on a whole lot of things and, and start to just like really open up to all of the gifts that the universe wants to provide for you. So those are your messages for the month of March 2022. If this resonates with you, I always am so, so thankful if you hit that like button. It helps to... Um, get this video out to more people. I also really appreciate comments below, especially if this resonates for you. If you guys want, want to learn more about my membership site, you can check that out at claritybackchristy.com. If you want to learn more about my services, you can learn more about that at discoveryawakening.com. Both links are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you soon with another video. Take care.